In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you an incredibly effective little spacing concept you can use out of the gun bunch. This is a great concept for when your opponent is using a lot of Mabel coverage, trying to stop your sideline routes that are so powerful out of the gun bunch. We're in this video, we're going to be talking about the play Titan Hook, which is one of the most underrated plays in the entire gun bunch offense, and it comes to us out of the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click subscribe. We upload videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And so if you're looking to get better at the game, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We also have eBooks on offense and on defense available in the description of this video. And this is actually a play that I broke down in my Seattle Seahawks offensive guide, the play tight end hook. And this play is honestly, um, I think a lot better than I first even thought it was. So let's dive into tight end hook. I wanna show you a couple of little things that you can do with this concept uh, to make this a very effective little high-low on, uh, on your right side of your screen. Okay guys, so tight end hook, as you can see right here, the tight end does this little curl route. I wanna first break this down against man to man. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna shade my coverage uh, down into the inside. And what you're gonna notice here is this tight end hook will always beat man to man coverage. Every single time, it's a very consistent thing in this game that that tight end hook route, whether they've shade down or not, is going to get separation against man to man. And as you can see, snaps back of course, and <laughs> Edwards ended up doing something shady there. I think I threw it just a little bit too early. You gotta wait until it snaps back. So let me show you that again. So again, tight end hook. There we go. Low ball, that's what we're looking for, okay? So this thing beats man to man, okay? Nine times out of 10. Uh, it was 100 until I threw that interception. But this does beat man to man very consistently. You just need to make sure that when you throw this, wait for him to kind of get that separation. If you throw it too early, like I did, sometimes it will trigger an interception. So the cool part about this is what we can do with um, the user as far as manipulating where the user can cover. The other thing that I really wanna hit on here is, is how we can manipulate uh, this right side of the field in zone coverage. So the first step of this is to go ahead and get some kind of flat route on that side of the field. So let's say for example, they're setting up kind of their meta uh, Mabel concept here where we have cloud flats and we have hard flats and then we have a vertical hook zone. I want you to first watch the, the two flat zones but I also want you to watch this vertical hook. You'll see the vertical hook will drop into the area, but in this year's game, typically you can actually still fit that in underneath the vertical hook, just like we did right there. So really the dilemma that we kind of find ourselves in is how do we create a high-low in the way that basically we can manipulate a vertical hook uh, from, this, from this play? And my favorite way to do that is to simply use a hitch to the circle receiver and a flat to the R1 receiver. Okay, so that's the only setups that we're gonna do, uh, at least for this first initial concept. And here we got our setup, and I just want you to show you, we're gonna motion this hitch out just a couple steps to the outside and snap the ball. And what you're gonna see here is that circle is gonna get wide open against zone, and then you're obviously gonna have your tight end um, that's gonna get open against man. Now, another thing that I wanna point out is that in this year's game, the likelihood of them having a vertical hook and a um, and a double flat scenario is actually rather slim this year. You're not gonna see that a lot. And this is where I really love this play because what we can do with the circle receiver is we can easily simply motion him to the outside as our pull route. And if you watch this, this thing is gonna get really good separation against a lot of different coverages. But as you see right there, it is a little bit tricky in terms of how you're gonna throw the route. So I'm gonna put the hard flats back out there on the field. And I wanna show you this route in its entirety. So again, you motion this out, snap it kind of right there, wait for him to cut to the sideline, and when he cuts, that's when you're gonna have kind of a little bit of margin to throw it. But if you also take a look at this in instant replay, I want you to take a look at what it does to both the hard flat and the other zone. It's going to pull both of those zones to the outside. So as you see right here, these zones are pulling to the outside. And now if you come back across here, you're gonna take a look and your tight end is gonna be open in the middle of the field. So this is where we really have a lot of power, a lot of opportunity to use something like a running back in route to kind of build off of this concept. So now I'm gonna drop that running back to a little five yard uh, in route. And what you're going to see 
is now we're going to create a high low between the tight end and the running back and the outside receiver and the running back so again there you see this out route absolutely if you throw it on the right timing you're going to have a very good opportunity to be able to fit this in against man and against zone one of my favorite features of this route is that i can actually fit this in this year just right there you see how it kind of manipulates the zone coverage on the outside so what that's going to force them to do is it's going to force them to basically have to play some type of cover two style uh, of defense which is where this little running back in route comes in because if they shift into some type of tampa two what you're going to see is that the high is going to go with circle and you're going to be able to check it down to triangle just like that on the running back in route so that's pretty much how this play works the other thing i want to point out out of that cover two is what this running back in route will do to a vertical hook so if you watch this vertical hook you'll see that he'll actually get pulled to the running back and i can throw the tight end route so let me jump into instant replay real quick and kind of break this down for you but that slot corner on a cover two defense is in a vertical hook zone again the most outside breaking zone of any zone anyone can put on the field what you're going to notice is this running back see right here right there he is pulling that guy down here which not only is not going to cover this guy, but you see he's not going to cover the tight end either. So what I like to do with this play, uh, as far as like a final setup for you or something that you can really consistently count on um, this year, this is a great little concept against man and against zone and especially against the Mabel coverage. And that's to basically take the R1, put him on a drag, take the triangle back and put him on an in route and then put the square receiver on a curl. This is one of my favorite little yard gainers right here. This is going to get open against pretty much any and every defense in this game. You're going to see here that you're going to either be able to check down to your curls. Your out route will also sit on the sideline this year. It won't just run off kind of once the play's over. And then you've also got your running back check down. Now, one of the things I do want to point out just real briefly here is the fact that with your running back check down route, what you really want to look at here is if the yellow zone is going to stay with x or not okay sometimes he will stay with him sometimes he won't it just depends kind of on where that zone comes from does it come from the inside does it come from the outside is it dropped at a specific depth all those things are important so you see right here he stays with him now you also see that i can still kind of push that ball in there um obviously not perfectly but i can kind of at least make an attempt to throw that football so that is going to kind of give you some, some resources, I think, because now let's take a look at this left side. This is one of the most underrated concepts in Gun Bunch, and that's the, cur the drag curl. Um, what you're gonna see here is, as I got screamed at by a two-man rush, um, what you're going to see here is that this curl route to the solo receiver this year is really, really good. It really is. It's super difficult to defend, and when you incorporate this curl drag concept, that drag comes over, you see he pulls the zones out, and I don't know what Mike Evans is doing, but as you can see, I mean, he's wide open uh, in that realm. And I actually personally prefer the, um, I actually personally prefer having a curl on this play as opposed to an out because of the type of high-low that we're gonna create. We're using a drag, and we're using um, a curl. Now, if you want to keep your back in, you certainly can to help with protection. Um, and you're going to see here, if I have some time in the pocket, square is going to get right inside because once that drag comes across, he's going to do a really good job of pulling that cloud flat just a little bit to the outside, allowing you an opportunity to be able to throw uh, that football to that receiver or to that player. So that's why I like this play a lot. Obviously, if they're running a standard Mabel concept, you know, they might be able to bag this tight end. But this route to circle is something that I don't think should be sleeped on this year. Just passing that up into the outside. And take a look at that. Look at that separation you're getting against the cover three defense. So you're going to force your opponent to go into cover two. And then this is where it's going to get a lot of fun because then we can go to a play like clear out SE out. And what you'll see there is, you know, you're going to have your streaks over the top. You're going to have a lot of deeper routes that are going to then naturally open up as a result of this concept. So, you know, this play is, is a great little play. It's one of my favorite plays this year um, in the red zone. And honestly, I should be calling this play more. Um, I think that this setup right here is really difficult to defend this year. You've got high lows on both sides of the field. You've got a great little snap throw that you can hit your tight end on if there's pressure 
one of my favorite little pressure pressure releases right now, especially if they're using, um, you know, kind of to the left side to take away the running back, is I'll typically do something like this where I'll put the running back on like a little table route so they have to go over there. And then what you'll see is this tight end route, and I forgot to motion out that receiver. But let me show you. So you get like a Mike Blitz 3, and they're blitzing everybody. Watch this slot receiver or slot corner. Whenever I motion this guy outside, he's going to jet out there right at the snap and allows me to easily throw the ball to the tight end for a quick snap throw. So great against the blitz. Pretty good against Mabel coverage, in my opinion. Um, and, you know, really good, in my opinion, also, if they're not playing cover two. So this is a great play if you're getting a lot of cover three or cover four against the defense. Now, if you want to learn some absolute bombs against cover three, cover four, or cover two, pretty much any defense that the defense can call, the Gun Bunch has everything that you need. So I would encourage you to pick up my offensive guide. I'm going to put a link to that down in the description. All you have to do is click on that link. It'll take you to my website where you can get that guide for just 15 bucks, Super cheap at the beginning of the year here. And this has been the best offense really for the last three or four years. But this year in particular, it is absolutely insane how effective this offense is. So if you want to get access to it, again, all you got to do is sign up at the link in the description of this video.